always get your parents' permission before doing anything in the kitchen. There are many hazards that can hurt you, so be sure to follow all of your parents' directions. Today I have my friend Lucas on the show. Welcome, Lucas. Hi. Today we're going to be making two pizzas. One of them, cheater pizza, if you will. Basically buns and some other stuff. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to get messy. Yeah! I know. Sounds fun. But first we got to start with the dough, because it takes a little while to make. For the pizza dough, you will need two cups of hot water from your tap, two tablespoons of lemon juice, quarter cup of vegetable oil, two cups of whole wheat flour, two cups of unbleached flour, plus one cup or more as needed, one tablespoon of active dry yeast or instant, one teaspoon of salt. Um, how about you put in the oil? Okay. And I'll get some hot water here. And there should be good. Okay. Uh, Let's put in this water now. And then we have our lemon juice. If you would put that in. And we'll put that out of the way here. And then we're going to put in some salt. Now we're going to put in our dry ingredients here. We have two cups of whole wheat flour here. And for sure one cup of unbleached flour right now. Right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, how we're going to be doing one cup at a time with this is because we want to make sure we don't get too stiff and or too soft. If it's a little liquidy, we add more. Okay. Go ahead. Alrighty. Now we have these. It's instant yeast. Now we're going to put this. I'll go put this in our cheater tool. Cheetah. Now it doesn't matter what type of bread machine you are using. Just make sure that you put it on the dough setting. It does basically all the mixing and everything for us. We're going to make sure it's on the right setting. Start. Okay. Now that we got that done, we are going to move to the cheating pizza. So to make easy pizza or cheating pizza, you can either A, use um, pre-made shells or you can use pita pockets and we have buns here different types of buns, and um, just about any type of bread you need. Okay, so we got our toppings here. We have some olives, they're whole, so if you could chop them up. We have some mushrooms, sure. already chopped up fortunately, and some sun-dried tomatoes. Then we also have some pineapple. I like pineapple on mine. And then we have, of course, our cheese. This is just one type of cheese that you can use, but there are a lot of other cheeses. We have some more here. So we do have jalapeno, in case you do like it, which you might. Then we have your regular old mozzarella. This, all of these cheeses are soy. And then we have the cheddar. I like cheddar on mine, that's just me. Same with pineapple. There's also almond cheese and rice cheese and a bunch of other types of cheeses too. Sauce. And we have our buns. Let's see. Let's do a pita one. Just because we can. And now you need sauce on these. It's not right without it. So, ah, sauce check. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that does pop off. Now, some people don't like too much sauce, and some people like a lot of sauce. I'm one of those. Not too much sauce. How about you? I like lots of sauce. Mm -hmm. What are your favorite toppings, just out of curiosity? I like cheese, mm -hmm. and I like lots of cheese on my pizza. Well, definitely we definitely are going to have that on here. Let's do some of this cheese. Put on some few mushrooms. Now, mushrooms are a little interesting. They are healthy, but I don't suggest you go out back and start picking them up. They can be dangerous. 
poison us. Yeah, that dangerous. I don't think I would like to have that happen to me. Yeah, I definitely don't want to get sick. Definitely. But there are certain ones that are actually healthy. And you can't eat? You can eat them, like these ones. Mm -hmm. And then there's another species, I forget the name, it, the name slips my mind right now. There's another one that actually they have found helps cancer. Yeah. yeah and not in a good that. way for cancer, in a bad way for the cancer. There we go. And how about some olives? Olives. Well ground up, that's for sure. <laughs> there. Okay. Now, that's one way to make it. And in fact, with one bun, you get two pizzas. <laughs> and we're gonna have to shred some of this cheese. Just for fun. That's how you can make different cheating pizzas, yeah. AKA easy pizzas. You get to uh, put this in the oven. And when you do that, and just you can let it just melt or cook it longer. Alrighty, let's do a check on our dough. Wow, that looks wet. Oh, let's add some flour. So we should have done two, so because it's so wet. So just to make sure you do that at home. I'm gonna add in our third cup of flour here. Alrighty, now we're gonna make our pizza with the dough that we made earlier. First, we're gonna spray our pan here. The stuff, very heavy stuff. And we're going to do something kind of like this. Non-stick spray, very handy. Let's see. Now, in your bread machine, we should have a, um, you will have a little flipper thing. Make sure you pull that out. I don't think I'll have to worry about that. Here, you want to help me here? Sure. Grab that. All right, got it. Okay, there we go. Try to split this in half. Whoa, careful there, ready. Okay, ready? Hey, uh oh. <laughs> Whoa. That, that, I don't think that's I don't think well. that's gonna work. Let's see, how's that for evenness? Now, put this in the pan. Hey, do you remember the sturgeon release that I we do. went to? Yeah, that was awesome. so much, that was saw cool. CTV. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw myself on TV. Nice. Now, we were doing, helping release these sturgeons. Because they're endangered. S yep, they are. Where are we releasing these? In Preston, BC, Canada. Yep. Right there. Yep. We are in Canada, by the way, in British Columbia. Now, if you're having trouble, like it's spraying them back way too quickly or too much for you, oh, yeah. you can let it rest. Rest basically means to uh, let it sit for about 10 minutes. Yeah. That's almost like having a nap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're gonna add our toppings and the sauce. Uh, I got another spoon here. Now you can use, for your sauce, you can use all sorts of different sauces. You can use pizza sauce, you can use spaghetti sauce, um, pasta sauce, all kinds of sauces. Now, let's, take, let's see. Now we're gonna add the toppings here. And you can use different toppings if you want. You can use um, peppers and onions and just about anything that's healthy that you like. Now let's put these in the oven, Lucas. Okay, we're gonna put these on bake for at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And it depends on how many toppings you have. Thank you. Be careful, it is hot. Better not forget that. I have learned the hard way. It wasn't that easy, Lucas. Yeah, it sure was. I know. Now, the pizzas you can do either uh, 
cheese on the bottom, like this one, or here, cheese on the top. And then, of course, you can do it any way you want. Maybe even a mixture, like I did here. Thanks for being here, Lucas. Yeah, it was fun. I know. Whether you choose to do the pizza the easy cheating way, okay, 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 it's not really cheating, but anyways, or make it from scratch, you will have, definitely have a healthy meal. Don't forget to check out A Butter Body is Important in the lesson section, and you will learn all about how your body works.